What's going on, y'all? This is Shang Savage AF, brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Um, gonna be jumping on everybody that jumps on, jump on. You know what it is. Um, waiting for Pedro to jump on. There he is. Uh, yeah, I had to uh, restart the phone, get it going. Waiting for some of you people to jump on. Thank you so much for jumping on. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? Bring him on now. Brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Making sure that you know what the deal is. We always keep it real here and hardcore. But what are we hardcore for? There he is. That's right, right now. See people jumping on. Thank y'all for jumping on. I'm going to let you know about all the information. I'm going to pin this on here while he lets you know where you can check us out pertaining to the show. We got a lot of big new things coming up that we're going to be letting you know about. So uh, uh, let Pedro tell you what it is. Yeah. So, you know, right now in in these times of COVID lockdown, uh, Selena Vaughn, Nikki FSU. Thank you, Nikki, for stopping by yesterday on Comics uh, Uncensored as well, and all of, all those who did. AJ Fit, um, K- Casey. Um, but we are here during this time of COVID on IG Live Mondays and Fridays. We are on at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, we're on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Savage AF, right here on IG Live. Make sure you're always following at Comedian Shang. Man upstairs. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And then, uh, more even or equally as important is, uh, you know, if you don't catch us on the live, we are in the process and we are updating Savage AF the podcast with these audio feeds so that you can catch catch the podcast still. You can still catch each day's uh, episode um, up on iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Okay, we are wherever. Why do we say it that way? Why do we? Spotify, because it sounds very classy for a show called Savage as Fuck. Right, it's so it gets the class. Right, it sounds like, it sounds like we, um, we're classy individuals that say classy things, right? And the people that don't like us, you're a bunch of cunts. That's what you are. No, we don't really talk like that. That'd be weird. But, um, yo, yeah, what's up? I'm taking two edibles right now, so about halfway through the you show. You got so edibles? Oh, hey, man, I'm telling you, you got some fire ones. If you're, if, if, yo, holler at me. Holler at me, son, if you need some, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> right. We got some. And this is why I'll never be Senator, uh, Lady Hazel May. I do edibles on IG Live and drink wine all day. Yeah, so. yeah, that, that, that's probably, probably why. That's probably why he won't be. Yeah, he probably won't be. Uh, thank you, but gorgeous underscore support. babe. <laughs> gorgeous underscore babe thank you for jumping on all the people that jump on for the early edition we appreciate you we got some shit to talk about today yes, and then, and also i want to let you know we got some real hot shit that's going to be coming up not only this month but next month where we're going to be doing a lot more things pertaining to the savage af you know fam don't be average be savage also check out the website the website's going to be updated the fucking uh you know youtube page the, it, we, we just we going global all. yeah we going global so make sure you know what the deal is and, and make sure you tell your friends 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 subscribe is free so don't give me that bullshit now the t-shirts and the mask they ain't free but that <laughs> yeah that, ha, I, but that I other shit dot com slash merch that's where you want yes, to yes and, and following black pedro uh oh he's uh oh uh-oh. sorry oh shit no i'm sorry <laughs> i thought you oh did you want uh, did, 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 did you want the, Oh, I didn't know you she wanted. I didn't know if you wanted the. Oh, nigga, look at the arm. Electric boogaloo See? on these motherfuckers. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> so we gonna himself. give you the daily run up, and also, even though he says don't do it, I still do it. Make sure you follow us on our fan page. Our fan page, Savage AF, from uh, yesterday to today, fifty-five people, fifty-five new people added onto the page. So we appreciate that, fifty-five new people on the fan page on Savage AF for Facebook. Even though Facebook has a lot of fake bullshit on there, just go to our page. We, Fuck we everybody out. Yeah, we ain't that. We, we exactly. so avoid, avoid the Russian bots. Go to Savage AF, y'all. That being there said, you go. this is Savage AF. It is Friday, uh, September 11th of all days. Um, so right. we're going to end We're gonna end today's show. Uh, you know, we've been on a voting kick here on Savage AF. Wonder why. Oh, yeah, election year. Uh, and we want to, we want felons to vote, ex felons. But uh, the state of Florida, uh, their restrictions against felons voting have been held up by a federal court. We're going to talk about that. Before we're that, we're going to definitely talk uh, about that. Before that, we're going to talk about uh, Animal House. And this is Miami University. 
not the one in Florida. So we're going to leave Florida and go to Ohio. We're a house full of uh, students. Uh, we're throwing a party uh, and knowing they all had COVID. And mm -hmm. a lot of people there and had talking COVID. Shit. A lot of talking shit. Talking shit. Yeah, I got COVID. Woo! And they're, you know what they are? <laughs> they're, they're, I call them disease bags. That's what the fuck they are. They're, they, they, they suicide sacks. You fucking idiots. But they're, we will talk about that. No, There's other shit on the run up. Yes, 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 for sure. We will talk about other shit going on. But let, them know. We, let them know what it is. Before we talk about Animal House, uh, we're going to talk about flaw and order. <laughs> uh, in, in, in the time yes, I have a home phone. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, you know, Publishers Clearinghouse got to get you somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. going to get in touch with you. Uh, flaw and order, y'all. A California sheriff's deputy uh, here in Southern California, city of Yorba Linda, uh, was busted, totally burglarizing a man's house. Uh, after the elderly man uh, passed away. Uh, we're going to talk about that because y'all wonder why yeah. we don't trust these cops. The law and order. My law and order, the crust off of my nuts. And you're asking me, why do I have crust on my nuts? When you sweat, then it's salt. It's, uh, Forget it. And, and Forget the pandemic, it. you're trying to save water. because the Pandemic, and it's the whole bunch of shit going on. I'm, I'm going a little crazy. So don't Suminati. do that. What's up, Tula? We see yes, yeah, so what's up, right. what's up, what's but up? Before, before we talk about flaw and order, we're going to talk, we're going to say, uh, you can't fire me, because <laughs> I quit. Uh, <laughs> and that is uh, one of the top prosecutors in the John Durham investigation into the investigation of the Trump-Russia uh, relationship. Uh, she has quit. Like, fuck this shit. It's some bullshit. I'm out. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. But as I gave you the uh, date earlier, uh, as we began the rant up, today is September 11th, 2020, which means that today marks the 19th anniversary um, when this country was attacked. Uh, the World Trade Center's towers fell down. The Pentagon yep. was crashed into by a plane, and a plane went down in, uh, I believe it's Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Um, so, you know, I know, Shane, you're a New Yorker, but you were probably here in L.A. when it happened, though. No, no, I was on, actually, I was doing a college gig. I was, um, I literally landed. I found out when I landed. I landed at 10. I found out at 11. Obviously, the comedy show was canceled. Uh, I was actually in Ohio, flying mm -hmm. to do a college in Ohio, and it was just, I thought it was on some other shit. I started making jokes like, where's Wesley Snipes? And he's supposed to save these motherfuckers on the plane, all kind of shit yeah. like that. And then they were like, no, it's for real. So I think that it hit people. It may have hit the, the world differently, but it hit, I think New Yorkers were more like, I don't know. It was, they went into immediate resilient mode. Like, okay, fuck y'all. Is this what we doing? Let's clean up. Let's go. And yeah. I, I like the fact, people don't realize that. There was a lot of sorrow, but there was a lot more like, yo, is this what we doing? I right, then. And then, then people started cleaning up and making sure people were straight Pitching and making in. calls for people. Yeah, I mean, the same thing, even with, if you look at the pandemic, um, you know, the way that they mobilized. And New York did flatten for a minute, then it spiked back up because people got comfortable. And that's everybody in the country that get too comfortable, and then it went back down. And right now, they're one of the, even though they, because you got to think, there's more people condensed, and a, the population's condensed, so you're going to get numbers, but, yeah, you know, still handle it better than and fucking... It, Dakota. It, it touches so many ways. Uh, Saluminati said she lost her father on September 11th as well. So we're sorry for your loss, baby. El Noop, we see you. Uh, Terry uh, Clark, 217. What up, man? Uh, my coworker's son worked on the second floor. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of those things, man, that uh, I, I, you know, I'll never forget. My mother must have called me at like 7 in the morning to wake me up. And she, she, she you know, my mom... All she heard was Los Angeles, and she started freaking out. Like, go hide under the basement, get under the bed, they're coming for you. <laughs> you know, because one of the flights was from yeah. Boston, was supposed to be from Boston to LA. Um, so all she heard was LA. She was like, the plane's coming, run, fire, get, get here. Right. <laughs> she was still in Detroit right. at the time. Uh, my sister would have been also in Detroit. She didn't graduate college. That would have been the beginning of her senior year of college, but uh, I mean, of high school, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, man. You know, being out here in L.A. and just watching, like, I remember being on the phone with my mom, and we sitting there, and my mom was saying something, and I'm looking at the TV, and I'm like, Mom, one of the buildings is falling down. Like, 
I'm watching it collapse. And we're just sitting there watching right. that first one go. And then watching the second one go. And it was just like, what the fuck is going on, dog? So yeah, there was a lot of conspiracy <laughs> theory pretending to how it, 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 it looked like a demolition. It looked like demolition, it fell man, you know, straight down. As a, as and that, that was suspect. Uh, you know, that, yeah, that was suspect. I've, I've seen, I'm like, oh, that, it, it, it's a weird the way that. Yeah, it, and know? also the they didn't find any uh, parts of the plane that went into the Pentagon, and there was a lot of stuff that was very That's shaky insane. around it. But I mean, the this country has done died. underhanded shit. Huh? The reality is, though, over three thousand people died. Yeah, so, yeah, no, for, yeah, but that, what I'm saying, what do, but, but when you look at the cause, yeah. and you look at you know, and yeah. even right now we got a president that you heard on 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 you know. On the phone, talking to a, a, a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter, saying that fucking shit. And he was like, well, we lose some people, so what? So I think America will do dirt and lose people's lives to gain something with money or power. We don't, they well, don't give a fuck. And well, we've seen that with black people in look, this country forever. When we look at what did happen after, what were the, not just the causes of it, but uh, the byproducts, you know, one of them, and uh, I actually make fun of New York for this a little bit because, like, it takes the worst disasters in the world to make New Yorkers nice to each other. The other yeah. 360, <laughs> 64 days, y'all are like, fuck out of here. Out of my way. Time yeah. is money. Oh, I'll yo. Like, yeah. Why like, I had a bit here? about that. I had a bit about yeah. that. But like, dude is blind, obviously blind with a stick. He walking in front of you. Get your blind ass the fuck out my way. Like... Dude, Yo, can't you see can't I'm trying see. to go somewhere? It's like, bro, why would you say it like that? So can't there, you, you know, see? No, you know, you know what, motherfucker, I can see. Oh shit! Yeah, like even shit. the blind dude starts swinging. Like, fuck your what the fuck you talking yeah. to? Like, yeah, it's man. it's it, yeah, but, definitely. I mean, people, but, before that, but day, in those times of crises, people. Oh no, fully, okay, fully came together. You saw, you saw, like I'm talking about dudes down in Little Italy hanging. Like, you know what? I normally don't like niggas, but come here, Jamal. You're a good dude. Come here, Jamal. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's do this together. All right, let's go down there. And if we find the cocksuckers that did that to us, both of us, together, we stomp him out. What do you think? What do you hey, think? You, you with me? Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 uh, I love New York. Uh, there, yeah. you know, but it was, it was a bad time. Speaking of yeah, it Jamal's, was a bad time. Speaking of Jamal's, there's a, you know, another byproduct of 9-11 was Islamophobia. And it still is to this day. And it still is. And I think uh, that Trump played off of that big time. And, you know, America did in general. Like, you know, George W. Bush used it uh, as a way to just, you know, kind of run roughshod over the uh, Middle East for, you know, smooth 15 years, 20 almost now. Um, you know, it, 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 you know, it became, a, 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 you know, the, the reason that we went into Iraq, which is had nothing to do with it, right? But Yeah, and we it, found so out it, became, it didn't have anything to do with it. It became That's a whole think... excuse for other things. But mostly, it just, I think, allowed your average European-American to find some justified reason to be scared of brown people, uh, people of a different religion. So, oh, yeah. you know, they, we, course, we've, seen violence, we've seen violence against Muslims, uh, it, you know, in, in several instances in the United States since then so um as well as and the, also i mean uh, uh you know i'm saying muslim ban if you look at how he went about that and he played off the fear and that was all residual from 9 11 but the bottom line is it still shows us we got a bunch of fucking redneck butt licking taint fucking tasting ass idiots that will go with anything long as it's race fucking if it's pretending to race they down it's like yo but and, and that's why I get mad at niggas that act like that. It's like, dude, how much more shit you need to see from these motherfuckers that let you know they don't give a fuck. Candace Owen, you didn't even get invited to the RNC. But the motherfuckers that pulled guns that were in front of their house, they were special guests. Okay? So, I mean, so fuck all y'all. I'm still whoever on that this, shit from yesterday. Fuck all y'all. Whoever this, uh, did you say Kundis Owens is? Uh, you know, I Kundis assume Owens, she, exactly. I, I assume she's not, I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't even recognize the name. But I assume that just by the name and the behavior you described, that this is probably somebody, an African-American with an extremely large forehead, which could be an indication of frontal lobe issues. So that's why or, I don't listen to anybody like Kundis Owens. Eyes a little too far apart, but, might not even be from this planet. I don't know.
But the Hodge twins, all of these fucking idiots that are riding that thing, now I'll, I'm going to let you know, Trump has a very good chance of winning. But if he loses, what is your selling point then? Especially if he loses by a lot. Like if he loses more by more than what Hillary Clinton beat him in the popular vote and he loses the electoral vote, it'll be a resounding fuck you Rejection. and the way y'all act. Yeah. But they're still going to have streets. a bunch of rednecks still out there like, he didn't lose this fake news. Let's go, buddy boy. Woo! China stole it. Ass. Yeah, just I'm gonna think get the ass handed to him like that. That video with the brother in the store. Stay calm, stay calm. Then he's like, "Hey, enough!" And he start, he start, he start running hands. So I mean, I think there's gonna be a lot of that after the election, win or lose. I hopefully, fingers crossed, the the black people that will vote will just get off that dumb shit and understand this is what it is. And I think. Like, that's what I did like about, I can't like anything about 9-11, but I did think it was good for a while. People were nice for a while. Can, Prime Minister Tate said Candace Gizmo Owens. Uh, so <laughs> we just took her straight to, get, to gremlin status. Uh, make sure you don't feed her after in the midnight. Definitely don't get her wet. And while um, that, make sure, and also make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Also follow us and subscribe to the podcast version iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, Savage AF. Don't get it twisted and make sure you check out. It's pent right there, so don't give me no bullshit. It's pent right there. Make sure you go to the website and get a Savage AF t-shirt or mask. Don't be average. Be savage. Don't be no, get the whole no yogurt -y mother. Yeah, yeah. Don't be yogurt -y. Yeah, get that fall collection going with your Savage AF wardrobe. Okay? Fill up the closet, y'all. Um, uh, uh, look, so Kane underscore Garlene said... Trump will lose. I don't know about that. He's cheating pretty big already. He's already we, putting cheating in effect. But I know Kane Garlene is up on it. She's going to be out there voting. She's going to bring people to vote with her. She's going she gonna to inform her community. And that's how Trump will lose. It's got to be active on it. It's not that he will lose. It's that we will beat him. And you can exactly. take that either way you want in beatings. Either way. We could beat him at the polls. Or in these streets. Either way, I really don't give a fuck. But we're going to be... Yeah, it's going down. Put it that way. <laughs> but uh, that being said, uh, speaking of, you know, um, kind of being done with the bullshit of this administration. Uh, what miss we see, me with that bullshit, is, which miss, is the uh, earthquake. And, and yeah. basically, that's what uh, Nora uh, Danahy, uh, the sort of number two prosecutor in this... All right, so for those who don't realize it, William Barr has opened up an investigation uh, putting a, a man, a, a prosecutor named John Durham at the head of it. They've, they've launched an investigation into the investigation of Trump's relationship with Russia. Let me say that again. William Barr is not investigating Trump's relationship with Russia. He's investigating the investigation into it. Like, why y'all looking at Trump and Russia, right? So... He, this is them trying to point shit back at Obama and Biden like they did something illegal and spied right. on the Trump campaign when clearly he had inappropriate relationships and people in the staff right. had inappropriate oh, of course. relationships and, and, yeah, with they, Russia. It's, it they it lied just sounds about. weird. They, the way you said the investigation of the investigation is the dude investigating the dude that I'm investigating gonna, the other I'm dude. Gonna, I'm going to look into this looking into to see what y'all looking at. And then right. we'll look at that. Ha. And then once we look at that, we're going to see that we looked at it, then we're going to look at it again because we're looking. And then take we're going to make up some shit and say Obama did it. I'm you know what I'm saying? Picture. I'm going to take, take a picture, look at, look at that. Then I'm going to enlarge it and look at that. Then I'm going to take a picture of the enlargement, a screenshot, okay? <laughs> then we're going to look at that, okay? And then. Okay, so, that, so you're going to look at what you looked at, and then once you look at it, you looked at it. And then it'll be... 2023. <laughs> yeah, that's Nobody true. Nobody will give a fuck. I mean, they're so just trying to come up with anything they can blame on Obama. Yeah, my divorce. Ah, man, it was the Obama's fault. My wife stopped loving because of Obama. All kind of she dumb shit. She saw his dick. She saw his dick, and then she fucking, she left me. <laughs> Why am I she with you, Bill? <laughs> it's over. I mean, they, they've been doing that. They make up shit. And the bottom line is, because the way I've been seeing the news cover it, the way I've been seeing people talk about it, and the way I've seen these people clap for this orange cunt stick, I'm telling you, man, I'm getting nervous. I think he could win if we don't get out there and take it urgently. But there's a lot of black people like, I ain't going to bite, I ain't going to vote, I ain't going to vote. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to speak up for it. Everybody in New York is voting against Trump, flat out. He ain't going to fucking New York City, win. New York City, upstate, though. 
Yeah. But Upstate. I'm, 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 but I'm talking about in, 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 in Manhattan. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. No, no. Upstate, he's starting to fuck up there too. I think this that 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 voicemail thing was pretty rough. Well, okay. So this this is one of these things where the Justice Department, outside of its uh, tenure under Bill Barr, this time is is usually just uh, Bill below way. the bar. Bill, Bill below, the, below bar. the bar. Um, but I think what we see here now is a prosecutor, and she's she said to to not be a Trump D Dumpty -dum -dum fan. You know what I mean? So she is she's not this diehard Republican um, uh, right winger, um, and. While it's not reflected in her resignation letter directly, reports from the what, what is this, the report from the Hartford Courant. Uh, this is out of Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, that <laughs> she's had she's had long time time problems with the administration, the way they're handling things, but specifically with this investigation. Um, reportedly, that she felt political pressure to operate in certain ways. And, you know, that's, that's apparently what this resignation reflects is a United States attorney, attorney saying, you know what, this case is political. This is not a thing that we should be doing. I can't do it. I'm out. Okay, she's getting her resume together now. Okay, she's going to go to Dewey Cheatham and Howe. Or fucking, and you know she's, going, I mean? she's still going to go make a ton of money. But I basically, it, it showed even that some Republicans have a moral center. Most of them don't have a moral center. Most of them are buying into and leaning into corruption. And that's what the fuck they are. And that's why I think they all need to just, I swear, we should put them in a circle and then have the hardest hit niggas that can box without gloves <laughs> just start just beat the shit out of them. And Cluck the Comedy, what's up, man? I see you there. He said a lot of niggas uh, who, who aren't going to vote. Well, guess what they are? Those are, to me, now I throw them in the coon bag. Yeah. I, what are you talking about? What are you talking about you ain't going to vote because you're black? Black people died to vote. Stop that dumb shit. Here's a, and you know, we, we're going to talk about it. I'm, I'm actually going to bring the point up later when we end the show talking about uh, ex-felons' inability to vote in, in right. Florida. And which um, uh, he won't be able to vote. I know that. That's, and that's his, his wife won't either. Him and his wife are both felons. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the family of felons together stays together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, but you know, I think it, it is. This is sort of a big thing, at least for those who want to pay attention to it. That you know, somebody in the Justice Department is like, you know what? Can't do this. Can't do this like this. This ain't the gig. That's not what I signed up for. Y'all on some bullshit. It's some fuckboy shit. You know what? I ain't got time for this shit. You know, I'm a white lady. I can I don't need to I don't need this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she's just like fuck it. I'm right. Like, you know, and I bet she I bet you she said that a couple of times. It's like, you know what? I don't need this bullshit. Okay? I, I'm a my white resume, woman. I, I don't can, have to be. I can email my resume across the fucking street and get a job. She's like, I've got I've got offers from Long John Silver Corporate, asshole. Okay, I could run okay. the North American so, division. So screw you, okay? So hush puppy, okay. Hush puppy. You think you can just treat us that way? Okay? I just don't, I won't do that, okay? And why don't you just go get peed on? I know you like getting peed on, President. Yeah. This is the wild shit about it. Yeah, you said it was black people who weren't going to vote. Uh, I'm saying they're only niggas who aren't voting. Okay, you're right. Niggas that ain't yeah. voting. Niggas. Black people voting. Niggas yeah. ain't voting. So I think but, it's, a, it's but just, we got we got to uh, convert these niggas into black people somehow. You gotta we got because we gotta keep sending gotta that message. Conform them and I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all why at the end of the show. So stick with us right here, Savage AF. We're on IG Live right now. But if you're listening to the podcast version, we do appreciate that as well. Understand that uh, last year, pre-pandemic, we did uh, hit number forty-five worldwide out of all political comedy podcasts uh in terms of ranking yeah. so stick with chartable, with us, on unchartable okay. apple and itunes so fuck with your boy and all the people that do and chuckle up comedy said you're gonna text me and fuck you well then you know what man i welcome your fuck you and i and i and i bring it back to you with a double fuck you i read yeah you said I, i'll see your fuck you and raise <laughs> you uh kiss my taint you motherfucker yes. but i'm gonna tell you right now i think that it is it is refreshing, and I'm going to use the word refreshing. I don't usually like to use the word refreshing. It's effervescent to see in its nature. A, a Republican or people that aren't right-wing that are still, you know, leaning that way finally go, you know what, fuck this. 
I cannot do this. It's good to see that because I've noticed more and more Republicans are coming out and saying this dude is over the fucking line. And there was another thing I saw where they said he flat out got dementia. People who are dement have dementia, sometimes the characteristics of their personality becomes even more severe. So if they're a little bit racist, they become a lot racist. Kunye. So, yeah. <laughs> Kunye West on the track, does, you know, same thing. That's why they get along. Uh, according to the Bob Woodward tapes that we've heard so far, um, and not the tapes, but according to Bob Woodward in his reporting and writing, uh, Dr. Fauci said that um, Trumpy Dumpty's attention span was somewhere in the negatives. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like he has a negative three attention span. <laughs> like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, hey, Pedro, that's like you say something to me go, what, what did you say? What? Well, yeah, like, he has dementia. I think like, he has dementia. It, and I mean, the GOP so, is riding that because they want a bunch of right wing fucking judges so they can, they are in a position of power until at least November 3rd. And when you vote, and like Pedro said, tell all the Republicans what date they should vote. Uh, yeah, Republicans vote at least three times, okay? And election That's day perfect. is on uh, November 4th, 2021. So you've still got a good year, Republicans. you got a but good time. When you, you got do, a lot of time. When you do, get go, your vote out there, Vote three times. Vote three times, Republicans. Democrats, you only need to vote once. It's some old rule. Our vote counts more than... Miss Averb in the then, building, go. You know you got to call if you're going to be late. God damn it, I could get in the corner. Yes, and yeah, Prime Minister of Taste, let me see what she said. Pro I'm he. I'm sorry, I apologize. That. Do not attempt to adjust your volume. You're entering the mode of two savage motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Please, if you, as long as you want, is that, is that, we don't have to. As long as you that's want, a that's an intro and a half for your ass. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. think I think that the bottom line is is you finally are seeing some people actually crack on that side because they're saying that he's way over the line when it comes to crazy. And, and, and Bill Barr with his, uh, Bill below the bar with his corrupt ass looking like one of those, he looks like the Muppet dinosaurs back in the day with the Muppet dinosaurs. He's look, but he is a cool motherfucker. I give him that. He is, he will sit there and lie and look you right in the face and like, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't. Yeah. So I'm glad that she did that, but I want to see more do that because a lot of other people probably feel the same fucking way as she does about this is some bullshit. That's that bullshit. I ain't gonna deal with it no more. And then bounce. Hey, this, so this is this is also that bullshit here. And when we talk about the Justice Department, it should be so no surprise that we hear a story like this. Then because all of that yeah. um, indecency just trickles down. But what we have is flaw in order right now here on uh, Savage AF. <laughs> uh, <laughs> come, come. Uh, a California uh, sheriff's deputy. His name is Steve Hortz. Steve Wait, before Hortz. we go to the Eve, Eve's underscore Apple in the building, Eve7916. Yeah, thank you, Eve. Without Eve, we wouldn't be able to rock out with the T-shirts, and she's also helping us big, big time pretending to the YouTube channel and, the, and you know, the updates and everything. The podcast. She and is an integral part. Thank you so much. Eve, 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 Eve. Eve. <laughs> she's <laughs> our Eve. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, All right, California the best part of that was at the end. Oh, queen! <laughs> just... To be. <laughs> and then, yeah, you... that boy good. That boy good. <laughs> All right, so Steve Hortz. Uh, this, this is yes. California. Oh, my goodness. That, yes. I'm going to give you one guess what his nationality is, Shang. What is, what is his uh, racial origin? Uh, like Steve Guatemalan? Hortz. Hortz. Is he Guatemalan? Man, okay, I'll give you one more. Hortz. Um, H -O -R uh, is he, uh, is he, uh, is he what? Is he what? Well, we, we, we commonly refer to them as European Americans now. But he probably um, cracker, the ass cracker. Let, I, I, he, he re his photo reeks of Axe body spray and, and hell, hair mousse. So, Shit. We'll, we'll stop there. We'll stop there. But, uh, Deputy Steve. Jew? <laughs> Somebody said, is he a Jew? <laughs> so, there was a... <laughs> There's a report of uh, it, it's it's got that Germany feel to it, but uh, you know, um, Carl. July twentieth, uh, they went to their house, this house in Yorba Linda, California. That's right here in Southern Cal. Um, damn, well, damn, there, man. But uh, a, a man in his seventies died of natural causes in his home. Uh, this deputy then, uh, in late July and mid August, 
return to the home three more times. Uh, apparently, once to unlock the door and twice more to remove items. Now, what kind of stuff does a sheriff's deputy steal, guys? Um, he took two safes, ceiling fans, a, a rifle case, and other items yet to be determined. Nigga, He's so petty. Ceiling He's fans? so fucking petty. This nigga took ceiling fans. <laughs> Duh. That's like somebody ceiling breaking your house fans? and steal your cereal. Like, what is that? <laughs> This annoying <laughs> shit to steal, like bro. like little shit. <laughs> nigga, did I'm, you I'm take my slippers right now? I'm like, this nigga took. The only only uh, thing worse you could do than that was to take take one blade off the ceiling fan and leave the other three. You know what I mean? Like that right. would be then, you, I, then I need, you're just an I need asshole. A blade. Yeah. It's like you know what? Fuck you, man. There's a gap yeah. in the window. Now you're just being an asshole. But no, somebody person. said porn. What porn? Of course, of course. Now that's different. Now that's different. Stealing somebody's porn. That's different. But why well, would you need you, to steal porn as long as you got a computer and a phone? I'm not saying you still sense. have porn DVDs sitting somewhere. <laughs> Please tell me you're hidden behind you are some a case motherfucker. Yeah. You are so foreign. So. They can go over Pedro's house and go, hey, man, don't look in that drawer. Don't, <laughs> yeah, right. uh, don't go in that closet. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want to look over there. That's why do you, you don't still have VHS of Big Booty Blasters? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, like... I got it. That's Vanessa Del Rio. That's vintage there. Don't touch that. It's still That's got vintage. the wrapping on no, it. The, like, yo, the thing dude. is, I said Big Booty Blast is no bullshit. <laughs> 10 <laughs> to 1, crazy. there's really a there's probably, movie. Yeah, Name that. And I'm I just sure. made that up, but I'm we'll sure. Get some, you'll get some copyright infringement notice later. Like, you cannot use Big Booty Blasters in any terms outside of these conditions. God damn it. <laughs> like, All right, I'm man. sorry. Um, so somebody said, El Noob said, was he on meth? Here's the funny part. As a, as a, like, on the article, this is an NBC News article, I'm just, I'm yeah. just looking at, like, you're just looking at the dude in uniform. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Like, that's him in uniform, just walking up on the spot. I'm like, nigga, you didn't check for cameras at all? Like, you don't know how Stupid. this thing works? You're never going to make detectives like this, bro. You're never going to make detectives. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you're not going to make, you're not going to make anything. I mean, the thing is about it is, for some reason, like, they always try to show the cops of color are corrupt and stuff like that. And But in actuality, if you look at the or statistics... They're not corrupt at all. Cops aren't, you know. No, yeah. I mean, of course, the police don't do anything wrong. Um, no. That's called sarcasm for the motherfuckers that don't know. But I'm just telling you right now, the fact that he thinks, yeah, well, I did what I did. I bet you he thinks he's going to get off. Because the cops get off for murder. So why not a little bit of fucking home invasion and theft? I mean, well, he, he he has been arrested. I mean, he's on tape, <laughs> like like, and then apparently there's other. Trump's on tape. From Trump's on tape. Yeah, you know, it, it's Trumpy Dumpty, um, and you know, Defe in the building. Uh, they're they're spinning it hard, uh, you know. Of course, we think that should be like you know lying to the American people the way uh, he did about the virus, knowing that he knew the severity of it. Yeah, I think those should be actionable charges that could be brought. But when you are when you are L.A. when you are uh, the, the California sheriff deputy, and you're on tape stealing shit, yeah, I feel like I feel like we got I feel like open and close. I, I feel like in this time that it the should, be. should just be like you know what uh, we just lost one. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like, that's it. You, you lost one. You th so it. you don't think that they will come up with some kind of logical reason in their fucking backward? Crusty fuck minds and say, well, you know what? I mean, it was he loaned it. He loaned it to I had, them. I had and he was getting us back when it was loaned. Your, your Honor, I had actionable intel which informed us that those ceiling fans were under the threat of Antifa uh, and BLM uh, actions. Right. So, uh, in order to make fans great again, in order problem. to make ceiling fans great again, I went in there and I I I, I, I sequestered them, if you will. Yeah, you put them under witness protection. Uh, each blade is uh, at a separate location right now. Exactly. Just in case. I cannot just in case Antifa tries to put them together and make a bomb and blow up the, the embassy. That's, that I'm just said. here to protect you by that stealing his shit. If, you don't, if this Ron. motherfucker Murder. don't get jail time, I, I'm so sick of this shit. If this, if this fucking idiot don't get jail time for this dumb shit Steve getting Cooks. caught on video, he got to get jail time. I'm and then when he gets to jail, uh, he should be raped. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not everybody, but he really should get raped. 
Yeah. Go hit him with That's that just general. dumb. You're a cop. You're a fucking cop. What are you doing? Dummy. Um, so you but got imagine these... before cameras how much dirt cops did. Imagine how much shit they stole. I know I probably would probably do it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be a cop because I I definitely would be payback. I'd be like, oh, y'all going to shoot payback. us? What? <laughs> It would be definitely, I would definitely be like, okay, you shot a bunch of us. Well, and then I'm going to come up with, hey, protect me too. Because I'm a, if I'm a black cop and I did something, protect me too. Nope. That's what kills me about black cops, that even when they get in trouble, they don't get protected the same way yeah. as white cops. Obviously out of line. Obviously out of line. Out of line, yeah. Uh, speaking of out of line, y'all, right here, Savage <laughs> AF, uh, Animal House. That's what we saw this past weekend uh, in Miami University. That's uh, Miami of Ohio is what it's also known as. Makes no sense <laughs> to me either, guys. I don't know why you would try and put no, Miami what, what, in a place like yeah, Ohio. It, it's Miami, Miami University, city, Ohio. Very sexy, very sexy city Miami, Florida is. International, beach, sun, very beautiful. Nothing in Ohio like that. There's nothing in Ohio nothing like, like that. that. I don't know why they have a Miami in Ohio, but... They do. Uh, and I, I'm telling you, Ohio is way more racist than you think. Mm -hmm. Like, you wake up in the morning, you can smell racism, racism in the air. Like, what is that? What is that, racism? I it smells yeah, like it's hate. that bad. It smells like hate. Little yeah, it smells like, eh, it smells like uh, racial bias. It's right. bad. It's really bad, but can it's I get also prejudice stupid. On the side, if you don't mind? <laughs> can I, don't put it on my plate. Don't put the prejudice on my plate. It, it makes the, the bread prejudice. soggy. Yeah, if you yes, put exactly. the prejudice you on the side, the, thank you. The prejudice is mixing with the fucking, you know, systematic fucking hatred. Yeah. And, 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 and I can't have that. It I just fucks can't up have the bun. So, it fucks up the bun. It fucks Pretty up. Good. But no, I like Miami University. So, so but what, these kids. You gotta let them know what color were the students. Um, you know, from the pictures I saw, they seemed to hail from ultimately the Caucasus Mountains. Uh, hmm. But hmm. That's, that was just what I saw. But. They they were a house of about ten kids who lived there. Who uh, all <laughs> Terry COVID. Clark lives in Ohio, and we just <laughs> made fun. run, run. Hey man, look, you ain't safe. You are not safe. Run, brother. Go, man. Uh, Head north towards that safe place called Michigan. Uh, <laughs> we yeah, I wouldn't say that about Michigan four, right now either. Sides, yeah, all four sides. Yeah, all four sides. Yeah, trapped. But uh, so. These kids, like, every occupant had COVID. So here's what happened. The police run up on this party. Like, y'all ain't supposed to be having a party. So they run. They, they're kicking people out the house. They're running the idea of this one, one of the residents. And the cop actually called him over like, hey, man, I've never seen this before. Uh, it says here on the readout that you tested uh, positive for COVID. And he's like, yeah, about a week ago. Want a beer? <laughs> it's like, you fucking idiot. And so the cop's like, but... You realize you're not, are, have you been quarantining? He's like, oh, well, everybody in the house got it. He's like, but you have other people here who don't live here. Yeah, some of them have it too, but some don't. Cop was like, don't you see a problem with that? Kid was like, want a beer? You motherfuckers are stupid, man. Goddamn hey, man. I mean, God you were in college. I was in, like, when you're in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you, come on. Things. The level of stupidity of these fucking kids. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to say that. And then people say, shut up, old man. Hey, shut up. Get off. Get out of here, old man. And they start throwing bear cats at me. <laughs> shut up, you old motherfucker. And then, then I, they don't realize I'm the, I'm the old nigga that come off the porch and beat the brakes off. There's other old men that are like, oh, my God, they throwing stuff. And then you got older black men that are like, is that what we're doing? I did. <laughs> then I'll crack your head open with just cane. His <laughs> cane is a Yeah, I'll be, not beat the brakes off you, but... Don't you think that you've seen this consistently? If you look at when they had spring break, if you look at what the situation is, who is doing this more? And I keep saying this, and people are saying that you're being, you're playing the race card. No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't have the deck. I can't really play the race I'm not card. The dealer. I'm not the dealer. Exactly. I'm just don't playing the hand. Don't you see this consistently? Dealt. Yeah, exactly. You play the hand. You could dealt. And <laughs> then you hear wooka wooka woo, Django. I'm sorry. I just. Stuck in my head. But now, these kids, haven't you been seeing this at different colleges? You can't just say you, Miami University in Ohio. I've seen it all over. And so, and it and, is and primarily, 
Pigmently challenged. Yeah. Well, I could, and, and honestly, I could get it if, if it if like everybody in the house got it. Nobody's really going through it bad. They're just, you know, then yeah, fine. Sit around, turn up the music. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> this is another indication. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually laughed when I read this, but as the police uh, rolled up, and this is from body cam footage. I haven't seen it yet, but in the in the report I read, uh, the body cam footage. You can hear uh, southern rock music being played in the background as as they approach the house. So that's just a, a, another indication of the uh, of the sort of European nature of their essence, if you want to uh, put it like that. Right. Uh, but but uh, yeah, if if it's just ten of them who live there and they all got it, then fine. Sit back, drink your natty lights. But they didn't do that. Yeah, they, they, they had that. other people over. They bring people. The, people gonna leave there and go to other places. So yeah, it, it was just a clear, clear lack of mentality and understanding of that their behavior, or or just a I don't give a fuck because. But no, uh, but if murder. you look at if you look at no, look at it consistently across the board. Felicia, you are stupid, by the way, in a good way. Um, I'm just saying, have. if you look at it consistently, it has been young, Caucasian students that have thrown the biggest parties and the most parties. If you look at the Trump rallies, the most people that gather at Trump rallies, the last one he just did in Michigan, which was over, I think it was over 2,000 people. I'm not sure the number. All of them barely saw a person with a mask on. Who is perpetuating this shit to go further and on and on and on to fuck up the country? Is it primarily people of color who are actually first responders more than anybody else? Or is it Let's be real. Is it uh, European Americans that's causing it? I'd like to add some people in the Savage yeah. AF. Ms. I want to see what Pedro thinks, and then we'll see what you guys think. Honestly, Ms. Ms. not Ms. Sab- playing like racist shit. Honestly, let's just here's, go by the numbers. Here's here's what we say. Here, Ms. Miss Averb seems to have uh, a genetic formula that she's uh, <laughs> that she's uh, come up with. Uh, she says it's donkeys who screw honkies who are, <laughs> and that's how we get coons. And the bride of Satan is pregnant. And honestly. Outside of 2020, I'd be like, she out her goddamn mind. But I'm like, in 2020, I'm like, hmm, let's talk. This sounds like it makes sense. <laughs> let's and talk. And uh, 85365 said, are you guys going to talk about Cinnamon Hitler talking about new nuclear weapon system to Bob W? To Bob yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, I wanna, we absolutely. I want to hear have a little to bit more that. about that. I know that was one of the things that, uh, Bob, you know, that was mentioned in there that he he kind of, you know, he didn't give details, but he was like, we've got systems nobody's ever he seen. He was bragging, like, and, and they, they double-checked it. Yeah, it is factual. They did, and, but, but what it but did that's was... Also shit, you're not supposed to be saying that shit. Right, and, like but, that. and that's what they said. The allies <laughs> are like, oh, so you ain't gonna say shit about this. you just gonna... You're gonna talk to Bob... You're gonna, you're gonna, gonna speak it like this. Go, gonna, we right. gotta like, hear, we gotta so hear it just on the diss track. We gotta hear yeah. it on the diss track. You ain't even gonna so you ain't gonna tell me that was the secret cut. Okay. Okay, my nigga. Okay. All right. But yeah, anytime, anytime you see people black, when they get mad, when they go, okay, all right, all right, and they hold their hands like this, somebody getting socked. And that's what I felt like when I heard that shit. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Just like when he had the Russians up in the fucking uh, White House in the, and he was in bragging the, in about. The, in the Oval Office. He had. The, Oval, Oval Office bragging about who he, I had to fire him. He kept giving me shit about Russia. He ain't supposed to say that shit, bro. But guess what? So They're going to let him get off on this shit because they still going to keep doing it. It's illegal, you motherfuckers. And he's yeah. been doing it, and they still let him. He shouldn't even be in office. As soon as we heard the fucking audio, he should be out. But guess what? He, they keep doing it. Pedro, get Gertrude and handle this <laughs> shit. I'm sick of this no, shit. She, I need you to get Gertrude. You the one that can shoot. So I need I bring, you. I bring Gertrude with me when I come to Vegas. You know, y'all know I'm in Vegas right now uh, for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, you're coming back to it. Wait a minute, you're coming back tonight or tomorrow? So I'm gonna come uh, in the morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back to LA. But uh, Gertrude rolls with me now <laughs> on these on these little road trips. I'm like, yeah, she gonna yeah, say especially when you got nigga, you, you nigga, got stranded out there with zombie fuck land. Nigga, do you know two days ago, uh, my mom's the the ring alarm went off. You know, like from the the camera out front, and we were like, you expecting somebody? Whatever. And I, I see a dude walking away. Um, and he looked all, you know, scraggly, kind of crow magnum cavemanish as he walked away. And I was like, ah. Eh. And then I opened the door. And this motherfucker hanging a Trump uh, uh, banner thing on, on my mom's doorknob. 
<laughs> like, but by the time I got to the door or whatever, it got a, he was like at that next house already. But I was like, man, you can have this shit. <laughs> like, I'm bought that shit. Yeah. Don't bring this shit around. Like, why is Pedro choking that homeless dude with a truck flag? <laughs> Fuck that shit. All right. Hey, so man, you're right. You know what? Hey, old homeless motherfucker or looking homeless dude, you came to the wrong house, man. Hey. Don't be hanging this shit. Don't be hanging this shit on my shit. <laughs> I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here with this shit. Um, so, um, but that being said, another thing we need to get the fuck out of here with is this idea that voting is not important or that it's not for black people. Uh, this 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 last story here, and I know when we on your feed, Shane, we get a little extra time, so they're probably not gonna cut us off at four, which is a good thing. But and we and then we could get into whatever after that if if y'all want to hang out. Yeah, but, that, uh, yeah, that's you know what I did not see that coming initially, and we did that the one time it was fine. That's it. So that means we thank y'all for the we, support. We, we good. We thank y'all for good. the interaction. We don't have no thank problem. Yeah, and and understand that that's because of you guys. I think we get more time on Shane's feed a, a because he's. A, uh, certified and, and popular on here, but the level of interaction that you guys give us, uh, I think makes them realize how important, um, you know, or, or just how much interaction is going on. And, and, and also, I think I like the it, fact so. that, you, that you guys give us open dialogue and you say what you want to yeah. say. And I think that that's the one thing we do like about the show, as opposed to when we did it on the radio. Um, don't get me wrong, the radio was fire. We, were, we had a very nice studios. And they treated us nice other than some other shit that happened later, which we won't go into, but Pedro knows what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but aside from that, um, we do like the interaction. And you can say whatever you want. If you want to call me a fuck face, that's fine. I don't care. But I'm going to say some shit back to you, okay? Right. Okay? So, so, okay, so, so see, I see, just like just now, on. somebody said karma. I like convo, Pedro. Shang is, what is that? Ah. And the, I got the little face with the ah. What you trying to say? I'm crazy? A little bit. Karma? That's all. But they should know that. Karma. Karma seven seven. You know what, Karma? Know uh, whoever Karma 774 is, I bought you a gift. But luckily, I kept the receipt. Because guess Ooh. what's going to happen? That shit's That's going right, right back to right age. Right, right, right back to right age. <laughs> and he's keeping the Crown Royal bag as a piggy bag. Yeah. Like in, the, in the bag it came in. Fuck you. God damn it. I'm going to find you in the street. You lucky I'm on medication. So check this out, man. Um, we, so I'm, I'm just gonna read. I'm, I'm gonna read this. This is uh, read that real quick so I let them know. Watch your ass, Karma. CNN politics article: Florida can bar ex felons from voting if they owe court fees or if they owe court fines or fees associated with their convictions, even if they are unable to pay. A federal appeals court ruled Friday. So today, this came out. Uh, it was in, it was, and we've actually talked about this story before in, in the context of this is a continuation of um, any restrictions that have ever been put on the black vote. Um, but more directly, this reflects a poll tax, which was literally a direct payment that black people would have to make at the polls in order to actually vote. Like you'd have to buy, you have to spend money to vote, which nobody else did. Um, but that being said, I just, I want you guys to look at, so for those who question voting, they're like, fucking, I'm not voting, that shit don't work for us, blah, blah, blah. I, I want you to look at this, and this just dawned on me today, and this will be, I think, my most clear argument that I can have against it, and it's really just a question I want you to ask yourselves if, you, if, you, if you're not willing to vote, is if voting isn't important for black people, why the fuck does this country work so hard to keep us from doing it, specifically Republicans? But through gerrymandering, redlining districts, um, poll, voter taxes, suppression. poll taxes like this, other voter suppression methods, voter ID Georgia. laws that they want to in, in Georgia. So why, if, if our vote is not important, if you go into the polls, will make no difference, then why the fuck are they working so hard to stop you from doing it? For you it, not dog? to have it. Why? Right. Think about that. So I don't give a fuck how you feel about any candidate. Understand that all they are trying to do is to keep you disinterested from this process. Because once you get involved in it, we can change the game. How the fuck do you think that in our goddamn lifetime, we saw yeah. a black president? 
Like, how yeah. is that possible that we saw yeah. a black president? Damn right. Show you right. Well, hey, show you right. Tell them. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I think that the bottom line is what you just said is so clear, but a lot of people still don't see it that way because they up in their bitch ass feelings. <laughs> see, it's like I was like, I don't feel like Biden. I feel this way, or Kamala. Women hating on her. Like I don't like her hair. Shut up, you stupid bitches. If that's the reason you ain't voting because you don't like her hair, you's a stupid bitch. And I'm gonna say it to your face. <laughs> and you probably got bitch ass underarm deodorant on, which and it's called <laughs> here. Smell better. This is bitch. Because <laughs> under funk. <laughs> yeah. they, what are you talking funk? about? You... Of course, the reason that they... That's like, I, if, if you ain't nothing valuable, leave the safe open. But if you see a safe open, the shit they want shit. But if you see the safe closed, you know they're trying to protect something. What is wrong with you? Don't you see uh... that? Y'all get on my nerves with this other <laughs> reasoning that has nothing to do with moving right. forward. And if you think four more years of Trump ain't going to be some crazy town shit, you out your mind. But I bet you Biden... And Warren, even though I, I know y'all can say what you want, not Biden and Warren, I would. I, I, I would. <laughs> That's what you wanted. I, I did. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, because she got a bigger following. Um, but, and Kamala, if you think that they won't be a little bit calmer, you know, person to steer the, bo the boat, you're out of your mind. Because this is how Trump steers. He just, hey, hey, shiny. And he just, he don't, he don't have a fucking clue. Okay, I, okay, well, here we go with this hit. Yeah, all right, the De deodorant is moldy. Okay, you know what, Karma? Watch yourself. See, I told you. you, you see, times, I see, times times two. This message is for is for is for brothers like you out there. It says voting voting is the weakest form of political action. You can you can be a voting bitch. So it's 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 I, I, again. I'm just going to ask you if it's such a weak form of political action. Why? I, I'm I'm just going to end with like. If it's such a weak form of political action, why are they working so hard to stop you from doing it? If it exactly. If, it, if your vote didn't mean shit, if it was a weak action for you to go vote, for you to go be a vote bitch, okay, then why why are they pimping you so hard, bitch? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why they I know, man. Let me, hold so up. Let me see, see. Now he got me going. All you bitches I'm, out there, all you bitches. You know what? Vote. That's what happens when they get me going like this. Let me tell you something, man. Okay. Uh, two, times two, times two, whatever the fuck it is. I like the name, though. It's Just it's call twice. yourself four, goddammit. Yeah, it's twice as crazy. Two, two, two is just, so, it's just four. So what That's I'm trying to tell you is, if you're trying to lock up us from doing it, then it wouldn't be valuable, baby. Do you understand what I'm it's saying? Not and what I'm trying to. Weak. It can't. It can't be weak. So it means it has um, <laughs> value. Yeah, <laughs> you understand? You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Okay. Uh, and so, and and I'm not trying to say that you got to be out there and get on the host roll, but it does make you have some value. <laughs> right. You know what the fuck I mean? Two yeah. times twelve times two, whatever. <laughs> you get three plus three. <laughs> uh, Lady G. Just Lady make G. shit up. <laughs> Listen, uh, square root of seven. Uh, your ass don't make sense, nigga. Uh, Lady GG, it's exhausting getting black people to understand why they need to vote. Uh, but you know what? We got to keep, for, for those of us who understand it, we got to keep imparting the message because, you know, just sitting back on our IG live comment section and being like, fuck voting. That ain't going to change nothing either. What the fuck is that going to do? In a yeah. <laughs> what, what, yeah. What, what effective change is that going to bring about times, times two? Okay. Well, you know what? Apparently, apparently that was uh, apparently that's what the way people see it. And the thing is that in Florida, the fact they're trying to restrict felons, don't get it twisted, you idiots. There are white felons. <laughs> you dummies. It's, it's like thing. all yeah. the shit you're doing to try to block the vote specifically to black people. We already know that. And people of color. You are also dummy dumb by fucking with the post office. You're blocking votes for white people, too. And Republicans. You're not You're thinking medication for, for and medication. Old, you, know what you know what? There are people that have family members that are older and they depend on their medication coming through the mail and they're fucking it up because they want to do some cheaty cheat cheat shit. And that's what it is. We already know they <coughs> cheating bitch asses. What do you yeah. think real life districting is? It's cheating ass motherfuckers. What do you think all of this? We're going to send military to watch each voting, uh, you know, poll place. Oh, yeah. What do you think that is? That's, it, it's intimidation. So that's why they're trying to block felons from voting, even though I served my time. Yes, I bust that nigga in the head. It happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> 10 years I later, see, yeah. I'm 45, 50 years old, 
I'm 50 years old. Ten years later, I didn't deserve my time. I didn't fight my way through prison. I didn't made it out. I'm a better person. But nope. Now you got to pay a bunch of money so if, you can if vote. You haven't, if, you haven't paid your, yeah, if you haven't paid your voting, if you haven't paid your uh, fees associated to that case, Florida will not let you vote. D. Fay ain't falling for it. D. Fay 11. She said, try to stop me from voting and I'll be locked up abroad. She votes from abroad, y'all, and, and will not let it. So time signs too, man. Go go ahead, bro. Just just, just go ahead and vote, and, man. And, and Marvin's it, it, in the building. We, Very funny comment, Marvin. Marvin's in the building. He said, uh, this is where classism comes into play. Now, I, I, to a point, but to a point, but end of the day, it's trying to block people of color from voting and using this, well, you it's pay to play. You never, you ever heard of that before? Anybody? I know Pedro has, because Pedro, I can throw out a reference and he'll understand what the fuck I said. Okay, Goony Goo Goo, bam, he knows <laughs> hey. what it is. Okay. So, and, Gus, um, and wife... so what I'm saying is, no, Marvin, you might be there's a, there to a point, but I think the end of the day is by blocking these people or making them pay to play uh, is more of the fuckery. It's more of the fuckery, and it's just like jaywalking tickets. It's the same shit. It's like. Well, you got me paying for this, and then it go from fifteen dollars to twenty five hundred dollars if you don't pay it. It's them trying to just milk money, and they milk it off of fucking felons. And it's a double edged sword because they go, and we can get them from not voting because most of the time they'll vote Democratic. <laughs> That's right. what they don't want. I'm I'm gonna address times times two one more time, and then it's times zero after. That. <laughs> But nobody... Yeah. And we fuck it with you. Don't take it all. Don't get up in your feelings, Kiki. And fuck your feelings if you do, because that's what we say on Saturday. Yeah, see, yeah. that's, see, that's uh, what it happens. With that part. Uh, nobody is saying don't vote. I'm saying I'm not because it don't matter. Go ahead, vote with your bitch ass, and do the same shit again. None of you niggas are getting power with voting. Uh, so uh, here's the only way I'm going to respond to that, is just to say that you... So if you don't vote, you're saying you, you're not going to vote. You're not telling other people not to vote, but you're not going to vote because it don't matter. The only correction in that, I would say, is like, if you don't vote, it's not that it don't matter. You don't matter. Now, if you don't vote, you don't matter to me. Like, your little voice, whatever you got to say, your complaints, it's a city full of wall you can post complaints at. My nigga, become a graffiti artist, right? Paint trains. With, with, with messages that make people think as they go to Wall Street. But you don't matter if you don't vote, dog. And well, get yeah, it. You gotta, get you it. Black, Lives Matter, get Black Lives Matter is the thing. We don't matter anyways. But if you don't vote, dog, you got you to look. Oprah Winfrey in the movie Selma fought for your wife to vote. You understand me? So yeah, think about that. You, you, look look at, yeah. And, and you, you know what? Vote. I think the main thing you got to look at it from this standpoint, when you say